Konnichiwa, everybody. Cutting into this green envelope. Let's dive inside. Hey, everybody. Thanks again for tuning in. Another episode of Green Envelope. Excited to see what this is. Uh, I was able to clear out a bunch of these today, so... These, not sure what they are. Typically, again, for those of you who might be tuning in for the first time, I buy a bunch of auctions from Japan. They come in these green envelopes from Bai, and I throw them in um, a big box, and then I, I pull them out and open them up on camera. So kind of a random assortment of stuff. Sometimes uh, they're not sumo cards, which are typically my specialty, um, but uh, but most of the time they are. So cutting open this kind of off camera sorry about that oh looks like we've got a postcard yes nice okay i know why i picked this one up yeah i have this set but this was one card from the set i didn't have and it was a really good price so this is amina nogawa can't remember when the set's from but i'll put that up post-production looks like it's probably early sorry mid to late 30s but this is a mina nogawa postcard there you go um looks like the matsumura correspondence so um one of the tr tips and tricks you can tell the age of a japanese postcard is the location of this line if it's approximately in the center of the card it's um, I think kind of like post 1932. I think that's around the year they switched. If this line is offset to the left, uh, then it's pre 1932. So that's roughly how you can tell the age of a postcard. So this we're talking again mid 19, mid to late 1930s on this postcard of Mina Nogawa. Pretty cool. Um, I've seen this image before, so they use this one quite a bit. Uh, it must have been a stock image. Uh, I don't believe Mina Nagawa is particularly strong Yokozuna in the 30s um, but uh, but again I'll post post his name up there and if you want to go research a little bit more about him you can so there you go 1930s postcard of Mina Nagawa everybody thanks again for tuning in sayonara have a great one